Hello everyone, this is the Volkswagen ID5 GTX model year 2026 with software 5.4, the new software I have seen in the ID car. Let's look at the car and let's look at the software. If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. We have a 79 kilowatt hour battery, all wheel drive in the GTX version. We have 210 kilowatt motor in the rear, the newest motor APP 550. And in the front, we have a 70 kilowatt hour motor. But together, they can only produce a max of 250 kilowatt. Top speed, 180 kilometers an hour charging. Um, AC with 11 kilowatt. DC, I don't know yet, but I think it's still the same as the old GTX. So I'm saying around 180 kilowatt peak. Space in the trunk, on the rear seats and on the front seats is the same. If you have an old ID5 and I mean old hardware, a lot of things have changed. The stocks behind the steering wheel, the buttons on the steering wheel, head up display is different and the infotainment system and the software as well. If you have a car since 4.0, except for the software, nothing has changed. But for the old cars, we have our, our wiping control now uh, and the indicator on the left. And you have this button here that does the automatic. You only have two sensitivity settings for your wipers. On the left, we have a button for one-time uh, wiping. And then here we have the gear selector, again, D, for automatic regen or no regen and B for the strongest regen and then reverse and park is on the side. Buttons on the steering wheel. We have on the left our cruise control and the mode button where you can select if you want to use the speed limiter, adaptive cruise control or travel assist with head, with head, which has steering assist as well. Underneath volume control on the right underneath next previous. Then view button if you want to see less on your cockpit. And when you go up and down you select either the cockpit or the head up display and then you can use the view button on a head up display as well and then with right and left you change what you want to see on your cockpit so we can have the driving data navigation everything or uh, more focus on the assist system steering wheel heater and voice command infotainment system no buttons anymore underneath since 2024 we have our mute uh, and pause button here, also turning off the infotainment system or long press will reset it. And then we have our uh, temperature and when you press both we have uh, seat heating, then volume which we can slide or press uh, on the screen. We have underneath, we have all of our climate, you can change. Three buttons, this one here and two on the side can be different uh, buttons, no seat ventilation. We have massage function on the seat when you go into the seat menu. Um, seat heater can be pressed here, temperature of course, and then you go, can go into climate and press something here if you want something special. We have favorites up here. And then we can, of course, adjust infotainment system, different screens. If you want a new one, you can choose one of those three. If you have one, you can just go in and choose, depending on the size, something else to have in there. And up here, those four can be changed. More settings here, favorites for the car. And we have lane assist and the overspeed warning in this menu here. But you can also have it in the assist system here where you can turn it off. But you can most likely get rid of the assist system thing because it's in the uh, vehicle menu anyway with Spotify on here as always, which is nice. 
Since the hardware that came with software 4.0, this car has the same thing. We have battery preheating uh, automatically when you navigate to a charger, but you really have to select the charger, not uh, address or when it even says Google Maps, this is a charger, you see a special symbol for a charger. And manually, so I can go into battery heating, optimize, and it tells me here I can start the preheating, it takes 23 minutes and then I can charge with 66 kilowatt. Right now I could only charge with 53 kilowatt. That was our overspeed warning. As the old ID5, the new ID5 drives amazing, very comfortable, very precise, not too loud in here. The steering is very light, but it's precise uh, and it, it works just really well. Of course, with the new uh, motors, you get more power. When you have the rear wheel drive, you get 210 kilowatt instead of 150. And the all wheel drive has now 250 kilowatt and is significantly faster from zero to 100 kilometers an hour or when you just floor it. Regen stayed the same and it doesn't matter if you have the rear wheel drive version or all wheel drive, it's still very weak it's not very strong doesn't bring you to a standstill you have to use the brake pedal a lot unless you drive really slow and a kilometer ahead let's talk about software 5.4 I have driven 5.2 5.0 and 4.0 and then older versions of course the the step from 4.0 to 5.0 is pretty big there's a lot of things and I have made videos about that from 5.0 from 5 to 5.2 the only thing I have seen that was important is that uh, a privacy setting that you have to okay it every time you get into the car that's gone and in 5.0 this is also gone of course there have been a lot of bug fixes and stuff underneath that we don't see and not notice but what I see is in the augmented reality display nothing has changed but if you go to the setting where you can adjust it and you are in park it shows you a little demo of uh, all the things that it can do which is pretty nice and it looks amazing I filmed a bit here so you can see and I forgot to show you that now you have the distance warning for parking the park sensors in the head-up display awesome since 5.2 also seasonal designs in your infotainment system are new so for example right now it's the Halloween theme but it's also in a head-up display cruise control you just press set on the steering wheel then you can press the distance button you can press up and down and just press the distance button we have five uh, levels of distance like I said in mode you can change it I have the steering assist on right now I get in the head-up display lines that it shows me hey this is how the uh, your travel assist is on you can cancel it resume change the speed with the plus and minus button one kilometers an hour when you press hard 10 kilometers an hour and you can also swipe as usual I'm in my normal spot we're gonna do acceleration I'm in sport mode I'm at 76 percent I should get full power let's see oh. 5.39 seconds that's amazing and I have noticed that the in sport mode the motor sound is way quieter than it was before don't have changed that and also as usual it's now highway time 130 loudness how is it in here and then we drive to top speed 180 one thing I noticed with the ID5 is that the rear window is just way smaller and you have the spoiler in between uh, so looking outside of the rear window is not as nice as in the ID4 130 not the quietest car but quiet enough and steering assist and everything so nice and it recognizes my touch it's the most important I don't have to press very hard top speed 183 wonderful nice and stable but it's also not extremely fast a car is not moving around 
course it's louder in here totally normal can't tell you how I know this but if you have too low of a distance <laughs> you get now a different warning it's an exclamation mark in the head-up display so the ID5 drives great if you have an old ID5 with the old software old hardware an upgrade is really something that makes your experience better more efficient motor better charging more range because of that software is better has more functions the battery preheating in the winter is amazing charging as i just said i think uh, that's really amazing um, the car drives great but the old version also drove amazing power is not incredible but it's okay the same for region it's not amazing but I can be okay with it because the car as every other Volkswagen ID just drives so nice and comfortable um, and stable and the steering and everything and that makes makes it just okay that the app doesn't have amazing function the software the overall like I said regen and power it just drives great and that's why it's still a great car if you want to follow me on instagram Pedro Life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes i have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye Whee!